Hey, I'm Pamela. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to discuss another screen theory, and today's theory is about Christina Carpenter. But before we get started, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell so you can get notified every single time I post. Now, this Christina Carpenter theory that I have for you today, I have previously discussed before on my channel. So if you're familiar with my videos, then you might know some of the things that I'm about to say, but I do have a few new things that I want to add. So there are a couple new clues for today, and I also just wanted to make a video focusing on Christina. So let's get into it. So first of all, I believe that I have found the real Christina Carpenter in the original Scream from 1996. Take a look at this clip from when Sydney runs into Billy in the school hallway. Was there? Hey, Christy, wait Billy, up. Someone, someone. So, as you heard in the clip, this background character, this girl who walks by Sydney and Billy in the hallway, her name is Chrissy. You can hear it very clearly. Her friend runs after her and says, Chrissy, wait up. And Chrissy is a nickname for Christina. So I first discovered this back in February and I posted it to my TikTok and it did very well on there. And then all of a sudden I heard a lot of people talking about this scene. Not to brag, but I'd like to take credit for <laughs> discovering that. So now I'd like to discuss my theory for this character Chrissy and this scene. Notice how Chrissy and her friend scurry away the second Billy shows up after he walks up the stairs. And Chrissy and her friend can be seen near the bathroom. Now we know this is the bathroom because at the end of the scene, Sydney runs into the bathroom. And we know that Christina Carpenter is Sam Carpenter's mom. And we learned in Scream 6 that Sam's birthday is May 19th. They showed her driver's license at the scene of the crime at Jason's apartment in Scream 6. And we know that the events of the first movie take place in September of 1996, and Sam was born in May of 1997. So the timeline adds up. You know, we know that Billy was not faithful to Sydney. He was cheating on her. And one of the girls that he was with was Christina Carpenter. So, like I said, Chrissy can be seen hanging out near the bathroom and the second Billy shows up, coming up the stairs, she scurries away and in my opinion it's a little suspicious how quickly she walks away when Billy shows up. So my theory is that Chrissy just took a pregnancy test in the bathroom, she's distraught, her friend is with her, to comfort her and when Billy shows up she doesn't want him to overhear that she's pregnant so she runs away and her friend runs after her and says Chrissy wait up. It is a little weird that she just kind of runs away from her friend and her friend has to run after her. Now May is nine months after August so it's safe to say that Billy and Christina hooked up in August before school started and by September, she would start showing symptoms of pregnancy and that would warrant her to take a pregnancy test. Now, I know that this character of Christina Carpenter was not created by Kevin Williamson or Wes Craven, like this was never their intention. But I do think that it is very possible that these new creators of the new movies could have seen this background character of Chrissy and decided to expand on this. I mean, how many background characters actually get a name? I can't think of another background character that has been given a name. So it's very possible that these new writers rewatched the old movie to get some ideas and heard this name Chrissy and said, hmm, interesting, let's do something with this. I mean, the fact that her name is Chrissy, come on. And if you look closely at the scene when Billy is talking to Sydney, his eyes kind of travel up and look past Sydney, 
Once Chrissy has already walked past them and down the hall, Billy's eyes shift to look past Sydney. Now, of course, this was not intentional, but if this is Christina, then we're very lucky that Skeet Ulrich decided to look that way. So this can really just add to this theory. So then upon another rewatch, I was trying to see if I can see this background character again somewhere else in another scene. And sure enough, I spotted her again. So in the beginning of the movie, after the opening scene when Casey dies and Sydney goes to school the next day, before Sydney even knows that Casey and her boyfriend were killed and there's news reporters in front of the school and all the students are walking on campus to get to class, you can see this background character, Chrissy, in a cheerleader's outfit, which I thought was very interesting because we know that the cheerleader from the bathroom despises Sydney and was talking shit about Sydney and her mom, Maureen. Now we know that Christina Carpenter was in love with Billy Loomis, and we can assume that she was jealous of Sydney because Christina was in love with Billy and he didn't claim her publicly. So she very well could have been jealous of Sydney. And we know that Sydney overhears this cheerleader talking smack about her in the bathroom right after the scene of her and Billy in the hallway. So we know that Chrissy is a cheerleader and was just hanging out near the bathroom and this other blonde cheerleader is then seen in the bathroom talking crap. And then on my same rewatch, I noticed this sign hanging on the wall behind Sydney. It says mother daughter breakfast sponsored by the varsity cheerleaders. And I just think that that is very interesting and somewhat of a clue. Again, I have to reiterate that I know that this was never the intention back in 1996, but I know that these new writers specifically the writer named Guy is a big fan of the original movie. So I can just see him carefully scanning the original movie for little clues and things to expand upon in the new movies. You know, the fact that the cheerleaders sponsored the mother-daughter breakfast and then we see the blonde cheerleader talking shit about Sydney and her mom. And we know that this background character of Chrissy is also a cheerleader. So the sign hanging on the wall that says mother daughter breakfast sponsored by the cheerleaders, you know, that could be a little clue towards Sydney and her mother's relationship. And also Christina Carpenter and Sam being mother and daughter. I just think it's very interesting and all connected in a way. And now I do think that we're going to meet Christina Carpenter in Scream 7, finally. I think that she is very important to the story. She is obviously Sam and Tara's mom. She was in love with Billy Loomis. She has a very rocky relationship with Sam. And now Tara, Sam says in Scream 6 that Christina cut Tara off. Christina Carpenter has been mentioned in both Scream 5 and Scream 6, and I think she will appear in Scream 7. Now, if you know me, you know that I am a Stu believer. I believe that Stu Monker is alive and will return in Scream 7 also. And I do think that Christina Carpenter is involved with Stu currently. I think that they could possibly be dating. And if you notice in the opening scene of Scream 5, when Tara is texting Amber and Tara's landline phone keeps ringing, she says to Amber over text that she thinks it's her mom's new boyfriend calling. And I do think it's suspicious that Ghostface said on the phone with Tara that Christina is a fan of horror movies and she's proud of making a fan out of Tara as well. 
And who else was a big fan of horror movies? Stu. So I really just think this is all connected and it'll come full circle in Scream 7. So is Chrissy the cheerleader, Christina Carpenter? And did she rally the whole cheerleading team against Sydney and her mom? Which would explain why the blonde cheerleader seems to hate her so much. Thanks so much for tuning into another video. I always appreciate it. Let me know your thoughts on my Christina Carpenter theory. Do you think that we'll finally see her in Scream 7? And do you think that Chrissy in the hallway is Christina Carpenter? Let me know your thoughts. I always love hearing from you guys. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so you can get notified every single time I post. You can also follow me on TikTok where I post daily multiple times a day and I'll see you in the next video.